for our first episode of a show, Joe, I, I think that went better than our first episode, or at least my first episode, I where you couldn't see me. I give my rousing endorsement of two cent shows uh, by uh, one. There's two. There we go. Here's my two cents. Also, if I sound a little stuffy, I have a bit of a cold, so my apologies. Anyway, Joe, I hope you maybe invite me on for one of the two cents um, as a special thing. I would be willing to join up, and I'll just caution you, Joe, remember that opinions are all subjective, and I've been on the receiving end of when you ridiculed me for one. I may have mentioned this uh, to everyone uh, a while ago, but on one of our last shows that... Joe and I did at college. We had a little bit of a game show ourselves. Joe, of course, you remember you were emceeing the event. I was a contestant. Your dad was a contestant. And our good friend from high school, Matt Orso, was a contestant who's now had some appearances on MLB Network. So little shout out to that, to our good friend. I believe we were talking about who was the most impactful Yankee uh, for that season. This was in 2016, and so the Yankees were in a rather slow start. We didn't know where the Yankees were going. And I said that Carlos Beltran would be the most impactful Yankee going on for that season. And you guys laughed. So much did you ridicule me that you took me out of the running for the uh, winning of that award show. Now, of course, as the months went on, we saw in June and July, Beltran just raked. By the time he was traded in July, he was basically the cleanup hitter for the team. So that's just my little caution about game shows, Joe. Remember that history may play out unexpectedly. Now for current relevant events, it's spring training. And the injury bug has started to crop up. Specifically, the Tommy John injury bug. This is a topic I've been influenced about by my uncle, who was a minor league pitcher for the Detroit Tigers for a few years in the late 60s. For those paying attention to baseball and such, uh, Tommy John surgeries for UCL tears have skyrocketed in the last few years. Already in the last couple of days, we had David Phelps of the Seattle Mariners uh, go under the knife for Tommy John, and just yesterday, uh, Rafael Montero, who is expected to compete for a bullpen slash uh, fifth rotation spot for the Mets, uh, has a complete tear of his UCL and most likely needs Tommy John. Now, my opinion of this is that it, a lot of it has to do with conditioning or maybe over-conditioning. Think about how uh, people in high school who are high on the prospect list go about their season of baseball. Almost everyone who's a top prospect for the draft is on a travel team. There's also uh, fall league or winter leagues across the country. I know there's a Cape Cod type league for these young amateurs every year. There's similar leagues elsewhere. They're going to the gym. They're doing all these uber conditioning. But is it actually going into shape? Some like me have the opinion that all this conditioning is making the body too woundly tight and eventually it makes it so that something that would just rebound if you were in not so much shape would make it snap. There are also other arguments underlying this, a lot of which that I will probably go over into the future. This will be a conversation that evolves as the season evolves. You can't tell me that at least five or ten big pitcher names, including at least one or two big aces, will go down with uh, UCL tear. I just wanted to give you guys a preview of my opinions because I actually didn't really have too much else to say this week. The regular season is just around the corner. So Joe, until then, I'll see you next time.